Hello everyone, how are you guys doing? It's been so long since I've been on YouTube and I've missed it so much. YouTube is so therapeutic for me. I've been in esthetician school and I've also been working as a bridal makeup artist on the weekend. So your girl's been busy, 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 but I'm ready to get back to YouTube and I'm ready to talk to you guys again because it's so much fun. I'm gonna be doing some makeup today and I'm also gonna be talking about my life. So hopefully both of those things will be interesting for you. Let's get into it. So I'm gonna prime up my lids with the um, Dose of Colors Concealer in the shade 07 Light. And I'm gonna be using my Luxie 07 Concealer Brush to just apply this all over the lid. This concealer is a little drying and my eyes are already recovering from um, allergic reaction that I was having from the vitamin C in my eye cream. So if they look a little crusty today, that's why. And then I like to go ahead and use a little bit of that concealer just on the lash line so that we can use it as an eyeshadow primer. I'm gonna just tap this so it's, cause it's getting on my nerves. No, I'm just gonna tap over that concealer with a sponge. It'll absorb any of the excess. And then I'm gonna set it with a skin colored eyeshadow. I'm not gonna tell you guys. <laughs> Whose eyeshadow I'm using to set this because they're controversial and I have no opinion. I just have a makeup palette. So use a light shade all over the lid and that'll just set the concealer down for us. Make it a little easier to work with and blend. Now this is someone who I will always stand for. This is the Trixie Mattel Bottle Blonde um, Trixie Cosmetics and I mean... We are going to start with Miss Kim, which is this really pretty light, dusty pink, just in case we need something to blend our shades into, you know? I'm gonna work Miss Kim in through this crease. We don't have to be really neat with her because she's really just going to be laying down that foundation for the rest of our colors to blend into. Now I'm gonna grab the shade Roller Set right here, which is like my shade in the world and kind of pack it in the same area so we're going on this outer part of our eye and I'm going to be doing all of these shadows at an upwards angle we're gonna lift it we're gonna act like this lower lash line is going straight up never ends so if that were to happen our eyeshadows are gonna be going up with it right your eyes I'm sorry they're probably two different shapes Join the rest of the world. So you have to pay attention, make sure your angles are going at the same and you're not just applying the color the same area. You have to do your eyes differently to make them seem similar. It's backwards, I know. So I'm gonna take a roller set and just apply this all over the lid. And I'm gonna take it underneath here too. Oh, honey, I did not know it would. Okay. If you have any trouble, like this is a great palette for everyone, for beginners, for makeup artists, because the shadows are so blendable. If you're a makeup artist, it makes your job quicker. If you're a beginner, then it kind of helps you have to do a lot of the work. It just does a lot of the work for you, these shadows. They really do. Look at that. I'm going to take blowout. I'm going to just build this up. Take it down here a little. I'm going to start pulling it out into a wing shape, but as we're pulling it out into a wing, you want to make sure you're also pulling it inwards so that we don't get it to be really muddy. We don't want this dark shade to end up everywhere. And as you get past that dark shade, you can lighten up the pressure that you're using. So it's just flicking. So I'm going to go back into that first brush that we used. It's got a little bit of the roller set shade we have all over our lid on there and we'll use that to blend out that blowout shade. And then I'm gonna use this Revlon glitter. This is the Photo Ready Eye Art in the shade Peach Prism. I've literally had this for five years. It's probably expired. So there's probably better like lid toppers out there, but this is just what I have in my kit right now. When you become a makeup artist, your personal kit starts to struggle more. It's like all the money goes into the professional kit and then I'm over here using my five year expired glitter. When you use a glitter like this, it's not gonna move around as if it would 
when you use a glitter that's like in a pot that's loose. This has like the glue already in it, so it doesn't go everywhere. Now I'm gonna use this Dose of Colors eyeliner in the shade Teddy. She looks like this. Luckily, she is not expired. And this is just like a really warm, rich brown, kind of like a terracotta brown. Now I'm just gonna be using that same Teddy liner and I'm gonna go right here on the top lash line, but we're gonna be using Blowout. Mm, you know what, let's not do Blowout, let's do Frenemy and just use that shade right here on your lash line. I'm also gonna be picking it up just like we did with Booty, I was just about to say Booty Call. It's not called Booty Call Maddie, it's called Blowout. Where did Booty Call come from? That glitter is causing me problems. I can already see my color lifting over here. And then I'm gonna go back into that brush that we used with Blowout to smoke this line up a little bit. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do to save us some time. I'm gonna put some mascara on my lashes and I'm also maybe gonna do a thin line of some black liner to hide that lash band. Haven't figured that part out yet, but I'll get back to you guys. So I have my lashes on now. I didn't end up doing any more eyeliner, but I did add a little bit more glitter on the top. And now I'm gonna use some squalling oil just to remove anything that's underneath my eyes. I'm gonna link this oil below because if you have drier skin or even if you don't have drier skin, squalling oil is like one of the closest things that we've found to the oil that our skin and hair naturally produces. So it's really gentle. Um, to use it as like an eye makeup remover. I also like to use it on top of my moisturizer at night. Not only is it removing my makeup, but it's also moisturizing that area. And then now I'm gonna just let that oil sink into my skin down here. Now for skin, I do it a lot differently than I did when I was younger. I'm gonna use the Makeup Forever HD foundation and this is in the shade Y325. It is too dark for me. You can see that when I apply it. But I'm just gonna take this and put it on. These are areas that I'm not gonna be highlighting and um, that I really just wanna do like a little bit of base coverage is what I'm gonna call it here. So we'll add more with like concealer and contour, but I don't need a really thick layer before I go on to put lots of other thick layers on you know okay it was getting too hot i had to put on a tank top because like these lights the sun it's all it's too much i didn't talk about this the hd foundation from makeup forever is so nice because it's very buildable the finish of it is literally like your skin like hydrated skin finish and um there's tons tons and tons and tons of shades i just love it i love the texture of it it blends really nice um Everything about it is great. I use it in my kit all the time. Now I'm gonna use the MAC Studio Finish Concealer in the shade NW20. And I'm gonna apply this just a little bit right here where I have that blue circle. This is the Dose of Color Concealer that I used at the beginning. So the inner corner of the eye and the outer corner. So we can go along with the same angle that we did with the shadow. We're lifting here, always lifting, honey. And then we're gonna do a little bit right here on the tip of the nose. Don't go too far down or you're gonna make your nose look like it's long. Take some right here. We wanna brighten this area up, honey. No unibrow over here. Area that I've noticed I absolutely love to highlight. Corners of the mouth, honey. This makes a huge difference. This takes you from looking like you're frowning all the time to like, and then right around the nose. We're women, we have periods, we get hormones. You have probably have redness around the corners of your nose. Now, before I go out and blend this concealer, I'm gonna use the Power Up Dual Phase Setting Mist. This is from In Beauty Project. Honestly, I don't really have a lot to say about this setting spray. I've only used it a couple times. I will say that like, this is one of those setting sprays you cannot use over top of powder. It's way too oily, it leaves dots all over your face but it is nice if you're using a concealer like this that sets really fast because the oil kind of breaks it down and allows you to blend it you know without having to rush so i'm gonna start i'm telling you if i had not sprayed this brush this concealer would not be moving 
you just want to make sure that you're using a setting spray that has like oils in it so something about like hydrating or glowy something like that it'll help you blend your product and then I like to go into that foundation brush and just pat it all in. Any of the Makeup Forever foundation that's on there will help blend the lines from concealer. Here's another fave that I haven't talked about that I want to talk about. This is the NYX Conceal, Correct, and Contour Palette. This is why I like it. There's a lot of contour palettes out there. These are the actual right tones for highlighting and contouring. We've got a corrector shade here. This yellow shade is going to be great for brightening or highlighting. The contour shade is perfect. Perfect for fair skin. It's not too brown. It's not too gray. It's like, it's, it's perfect. So I want to try out the medium and deep palette shades also to see if they're the perfect tone for contour and highlight. Um, but this one for sure I can tell you is great. So what I'm going to do with this contour, we're taking it, you can see already, we're looking for the highest point of our face, right? You can see the, sh the light is shining on it. It shines right there. That's the highest point of my face. So if we want to exaggerate that, we need to put this darkest color right under that highest point of my face, right? It makes this part look even higher. So we're going to tap it right under there, and we're not blending it downwards at all. We don't need anything to go downwards. As we've said before 50 times in this video, we're lifting, honey. So when you're blending this contour, and I like to use my finger with cream products because they blend really easy. It's another thing about this NYX concealer is that it blends very easily. We're kind of curving it up over top of that bone right there. And then I'm going to use the excess to just push into my hairline. Hairline is tricky with blondes. Be careful. Try to not get a lot of makeup in that area. Now, if I'm being lazy, I'll just apply it like this, just like we did with the eyeshadow, the dark eyeshadow. We're lessening the pressure as we pulled in, lessening the pressure as we pull in. I can use my foundation brush, and just like with the concealer, underneath our eyes, we're tapping, go right under that cheekbone, and we're pushing it up. Now, with contouring, it's very important. Look at your face, okay? Look at your face straight on. What do you want to look smaller? Where do you want there to be more shadow? We're looking a little flat through the center of my face, right? We did all that highlighting. I'm gonna take some of this contour and put it directly on that nose hump. She's right there, that's where she is. And then I'm not gonna take the contour down here because she's already skinnier. I'm gonna take it right down here where my nose needs some more shading. Do you remember what I said about the nose highlight? We don't wanna bring our nose highlight down. We're making our nose look longer. Unless you have a short nose, we don't need to do that. So I'm gonna make sure we're taking the contour right up underneath here too, blending it. Just like we did with the cheekbone, we're blending it upwards. We don't wanna blend this contour down. We're gonna have a mud nose. You better blend up and in the areas you need. So now that I have it here, we can use our finger and go right up into that brow bone. And use a separate brush or you can go back into this brush you'll probably have better results if you just use a clean brush i always just use the same one and i'm gonna tap it in there so i'm gonna use that same eyeshadow that i used all over my lid to set the eye primer by the controversial person that i'm not gonna name use whatever powder you want i'm going to just tap this powder, which is a very light powder, that's gonna help brighten this whole area up. And just tap her underneath that eye. So this is just gonna reinforce the highlights that we did earlier. So make sure we're going, ooh, right there at the corner of the mouth, honey. I'm gonna use a mixture of Roller Set and Miss, what is this? Miss Kim, there you go. I've got a bump that I picked at that I shouldn't have picked at but like I already did it so now it's there and it's probably gonna make it look like my nose contours effed up but it's not okay so here is a roller set I'm kind of doing it in like just around my whole hairline I just need some color you know we need some color we need some warmth again we're always going in this lifted angle that's how we're gonna lift it up every single step has to do something to lift we're not going all the way down here who you want your face to be all the way down here girl you better fake like your apples are right here 
A little trick from Ariel, Kylie's makeup artist. He loves to do this. I love to see it on the faces he does. You're gonna take it up and it can almost kind of touch our crease color that we worked in on that lower lash line. We like to go crazy with the blush nowadays, right? Am I right? To do a little bronzing, I'm gonna be using the Iconic London Ultimate Bronzing Powder in the shade Light Bronze. And I'm just gonna take some of that and put it right where we did our contour, like right around that hairline. I have feather bangs now, so it's all gonna get covered up, but oh well. Um, this is the Estee Lauder Bronze Goddess Heat Wave Highlighter. I'm gonna try to avoid the mirror, there we go. Isn't she beautiful? This is going to be the highlight that reflects light when we turn our face. It's not a concealer highlight. This is going to reflect light. So, you go like this. Oh, wow, look, her skin's so hydrated. And do the same on this one. Just like we're saying, we're lifting all of this. So we want this to go here. It's gonna depend on your face shape. You have to play around with it, see what you like best. Placement is huge, huge, huge. Placement is huge. So make sure you're placing your product, especially highlight and contour in the right area, or you're gonna be, it's like drawing your face bad. It's like drawing your face wrong. I've already applied some lip balm. I applied lip balm when I started my moisturizer. When I first applied my moisturizer, we also started with some lip balm. That allows it to sink in while we're doing the face and the eyes so you're not gonna have some crusty lips when it's time to put lipstick on. I'm using Primrose from Marc Jacobs and I'm gonna create all of the fullness right in the center. So what I'm doing, I'm literally letting this little metal part right here, this applicator, rest on my lip like that. And then the liner will do the work for me if I just follow my lip line. So it's outlining for me. As your lip starts to get fuller here, you can go out right underneath there. And that's practically contouring. This is like cream contour for your lips. So all I really did was like, you know, kind of mash them together. And then now I'm using Lady Be Good by MAC. This is their liquid lipstick. The lip liner and this liquid lipstick are both long wearing products. Kind of our foundation here. Now, we're gonna go in. This is a random lipstick I found at clear on clearance at um, Sephora. It doesn't even have a name, but I absolutely love the color of it and the sheen that it gives your lips. So I'm gonna put it in the center because that's where we're doing the fullness. This is the part similar to the cheekbone highlight. This is the shiny highlight that reflects the light. Boom, we're done. I mean, what else do you want from me? Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do my hair and maybe like get my clothes on and then I'll come back to you guys so that you can see like our full look. So I am a terrible YouTuber and I forgot to do the outro. This is when we all are forgiving because we remember that I haven't filmed a video in eight months. But I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I actually really had a lot of fun creating this, which I'm very happy about. And um, if you have any questions at all down below, of course, make sure to comment them and I will answer you. And make sure you subscribe. You can even hit the bell notification if you want to be notified when I post a new video. And I will see you guys in my next one.